guys, welcome back. Um, today I wanna show you how to adjust the overall tone of your photo. Um, there's several ways that you can go about doing this. You can use the um, curves adjustment. Um, you can just adjust it through hue, saturation. You can do selective color. Um, and my favorite is by using um, our Urban Rhino Photoshop Action. So I'm gonna show you a few different ways to go about doing this. Um, I'm going to first make a copy of the layer that we have here. Um, so on my computer screen, um, Vivian here shows up. Her skin tone is a little kind of yellowy orange. Um, and I want her to have that, you know, cute baby pink glow to her. Um, the background that we shot this on was a little more pink than this as well and not so coral. Um, and again, depending on if you're watching this tutorial on your phone um, or your laptop, your computer, it may show up a little differently to you. Um, I've had that same problem of um, a photo looking one way on my, on my computer and then when I pull it up on my phone, it looks different. Um, so if we adjust the color here and you think we're, you know, I'm a little crazy, um, it could just be, like I said, that it's showing up slightly different on, on your um, screen, whatever you're looking at it. So if we go to, I've made a copy of the, of the layer. Um, if you go to image adjustments and let's start with the hue saturation, which is the easiest. Um, so like I said, in my opinion, she's a little too orange. So to um, offset that, you would wanna add the complementary color um, to kind of balance it out. So orange's complementary color is blue. Um, so if you look at a color wheel, the color directly across from it. Um, so if it's too green, you would add red. If it's too yellow, you would, grab, you would um, add orange. Sorry, <laughs> if it was too yellow, you would add violet um, and vice versa. So um, I'm going to try to pull the the hue slider slightly to the right to add a little more blue. And you can see by doing that, it's just making it to yellow. Now, if I go the other way and add a little more um, pink, that actually looks better. Um, so, this, so this is a terrible way, in my opinion, to do this because, um, you know, like I said, ideally you should add blue, but it's not doing that. It's, it's, it's just a, an awful way to go about for this particular tutorial. Um, so like I said, so we started at zero. Um, if I go slightly to the left, that's gonna cool that picture down a little bit. Um, and so that looks a lot better. Um, the next way to go about doing this is to go to image adjustments, curves. So in the curves palette, let's see where I can get this where you can kind of still see here. <clears throat> Um, default's gonna, it's gonna show up uh, red, green, blue, RGB. Um, that's going to adjust all of the colors. So if I think that it's too red or too green or too blue, then I would want to offset it. So if I wanna add a little blue to the picture, if I go to blue, um, let's pull this down a little bit more. You can see when I pull this slider one way you can see how it's adding more blue to the picture now if I go the other way it's taking the blue out and you can see how much more orange it's getting um, so that's one way or yet another way okay um, the next one is to add a photo filter um, so if you go to photo filter um, that's a warming filter that comes up if I did a cooling filter um, that's a lot better but it's a little too it's going to say dense here density um, so if I lower that some like that um, that in my opinion is much better so if I hit OK um, you can see now that I've changed it versus before how much more orange it was after um, so let's try the um, last way, which is using the Urban Rhino Photoshop action. So um, I would open my action panel here. If you don't have that little triangle, the action panel show up. If you go to window, um, you can select actions from here and it'll, it'll pop up for you. Um, so I have all these loaded on here. And um, if I go down to the tones, 
Um, for her, I think I'm gonna go to, um, so this is our um, Chanel collection, um, which is great for editing like kind of more senior pictures, fashion high end. Um, now all of these can be interchanged. Sometimes I'll play those on her. Um, I just, when I developed these, I specifically chose stuff that I thought would suit a kid um, under the Olivia collection here. So if I go down, um, I can play all of these tones at one time and then I can go through and select the ones that I want. So let me do that. Um, it's gonna take it a second to run through them all. Um, and then usually what I do is I start clicking on each one and as I find one that I like, I'll leave that layer there and as I come across one that's way off, I'll delete it out until I start narrowing it down until I find one or two or even three that I like. Um, and from there, I'll kind of adjust the opacity of that layer um, to uh, find the right level of that tone that fits the picture. So, okay, now make each layer viewable one at a time. Got it, let me hide this. Okay, so if I start here with the Rapunzel one, um, that's gonna add a little purple and kind of this haze to it. I don't like that, so I'm just gonna delete out that layer. Um, Ariel, let's see, that one, no, that one, no, Anna, adds a little blue, but kind of a matte, Jasmine, I think is, yeah, we don't want that one, it's charming, ooh, the Alice one, I think, would be good, especially if I lowered it, that is about perfect, so let me show you here before, so without it, and then with it, Okay, that's much more like a creamy baby skin tone that I'm looking for. Um, I'm gonna go through these other ones real quick though to show you. So Peter Pan, Beast, I think adds like a brown. Eric, Pocahontas adds a dark brown, Elsa's a blue. Um, that one's a little too washed out of a blue for me, so I'm gonna delete that one. Tiana's a green. Aurora's a really light. Mon, Belle's a yellow. Merida is a red. Cinderella is another blue, but it's a very, very light blue. Um, let me show you if I lower that. So, and let me show you Snow White real quick. Let me delete out that one. That's a really white one. So Cinderella versus Alice. Um, ooh, that's a tough one. So see, this is these are the battles that I come up with. Um, I actually think I like the Cinderella one. And the other thing I can do is I can do the Cinderella at a lower setting and then also do the Alice at a lower setting. So if I click that one on and lower it just a little bit. And then let me show you what happens when I group these together. So if I group them, select both of them, pull them down here to the folder. So here's without them and then here is with them on. So you can see her skin tone, the background is much more pink than orange now. Um, if you're looking at her face, her skin, um, again, is is a little more um, creamy instead of so orange. I am going to lower it just a little. Now let's try that. So off and on. Yeah, so I think that's a lot better there. Um, so that pretty much wraps it up for the adding a different tone to your picture. Um, I'm gonna include the link to the Urban Rhino Photoshop actions if you want to look through those or purchase any of those off of our website. Um, and I'm also gonna include the link to um, using a layer mask. So if you decided that you wanted to change the, the tone of the background but not the person itself, um, you can use a layer mask to brush that off. Um, so that wraps that up. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you stay connected with Urban Rhino on social media. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, comment below, and of course, subscribe to our channel.